Was good. Oh, uh, good morning. Nice. All right. Wednesday, June 14th, 2023. What's good? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a beautiful day. I'm struggling with the heat, you know. I'm not built for it, but it's nice. It's pretty early in the morning now, so it's cool, and it's got the birds tweeting and that. It's pretty, pretty, I suppose. Um, yeah, I've always struggled with the heat. I think, like, I'm especially struggling now just because it's a different kind of climate as well it's it's not as hot as it was where I used to stay but um, the heat's different you know uh, so yeah and I need to I need to lose weight that's for damn sure I don't know how I do know how but like I've managed to get back to like probably my fattest stage ever in life yay um, yeah I need to start sorting that out it's just I have no, no routine that's the only problem like and I've been decompressing since I've come back in England come back to England and um, yeah it's caught up with me and I'm like ridiculously out of shape and I got to change that and I will and I will I'm just trying to get everything else in line and I am I'm already making tiny steps you know I'm making small steps at the moment um, adjusting exactly when I eat what I eat and how much of it I eat and drink and move that kind of stuff um, but yeah, I think once a couple of I got once I got a couple of my other ducks in line, then I can really do do better on the weight loss. That's the plan. <coughs> Everyone knows. No one says it. <laughs> like like is, when I was in China, people would just be like, "Oh, you're looking fat. Uh, you're much fatter than you were. What happened?" You'd be like, "Yeah, all right." But here, England, we're a bit more. Um, you know, we tiptoe around saying things that might offend other people right so here people just drop hints like oh you know I'm really enjoying the gym you should come along with me sometime or uh, oh have you still got your push bike you should fix it up and start taking little you know little bike rides for exercise yeah and, they, it's, and I, I know I know I know I get it I get it I get it I'm on it I'm on it I'm on it just yeah leave it with me um, ah, and we'll see but yeah what else thanks for the response on the song last week I had like about 10 people reach out to me quoting lines which is great uh, yeah 10 people on like the same song quoting lines because I don't think I've had 10 people all together quote lines from different songs so yeah that's good I mean quotables right we like that thanks um, I realized this week well last week I can't I didn't I didn't realize I know it but I spoke to Jockstrap about it this week I realized I, uh, I, I don't see the subscribers I don't know who the subscribers are on the channel I just know the number um, I know there was 84 people the last time I looked 84 subscribers and uh, I thought that's just how YouTube works I thought you you don't see your subscribers but then I saw a button that said uh, hide your subscribers and I was like okay so maybe that's what I've done and I can maybe I can open that and I can look at everyone all the names the list of people who are subscribed but I don't really want to it kind of makes me nervous <laughs> I know it's ridiculous I spoke to Juxtra about this the other day because I posted something on um is it not reels is it story I posted something online where uh, like a video but then it shows you everyone who watched it and it made me feel quite uncomfortable I don't know why I guess I'm used to feeling like I'm performing to like a faceless crowd um, um, when they suddenly have faces maybe it adds pressure on me especially faces of people I know on a personal level I think maybe it pressures me it, maybe it concerns me that I'm not as good as I should be or I, or I have to be extra special for the people that I know um, which is fair it's motivation but yeah if, if I start looking at everyone and then I start seeing the faces of who interacts or doesn't interact or who comes or who goes and I think it will stress me out so I, I'm, I'm not gonna look at my subscribers uh, thank you I know who some of pe some people are because they've told me but I haven't looked at the bulk so I don't know a lot <clears throat> um, and I wonder if there's something deeper to that like I feel like some of the worst gigs I ever had were in my hometown when I had like people close to me in the crowd I wonder, I wonder. Right, yeah, but that's that. I reached out for collaborations this week. Um, 
Yeah, I, I mean, I'm six songs ahead, I guess. No, four songs ahead. I wrote week 28 yesterday. I finished week 28 yesterday. So I'm a month ahead and um, I figured collabing would be nice, you know, work with some different artists maybe. I do feel kind of like I'm cheating on Juxta because, I mean, I probably 99% of the music I've put out has been connected with Juxta. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I feel like I'm cheating on him, a bit, on him a bit. At the same time though, I mean, Juxta's been with a lot of rappers. You know, Juxta's been with more rappers than, um, than uh, I don't know. My initial instinct was to go Kardashian there, but I don't think that's strictly accurate. No, I don't know. What's the correct way to end that sentence? What's the best punchline you can make out of that? What's the name you put on the end of it, or the or the noun you put on the end of that sentence to make it semi-respectable? I don't know. Hit me up. Drop it in the comments or something. What else have we got? <clears throat> I think that's about everything, you know. I'm going to start work next week. Kind of excited about that. Kind of terrified. But I'm really looking forward to having a routine. Um, and being able to move forward, um, yeah, because I'm trying to I'm trying to get my own place. I don't think I've said that on the vlogs or on the channel to anyone that I don't speak to personally, regularly. But yeah, I'm getting to the job, and I want to try and get this house, and then I can uh, move in and have my own space and move forward. Um, as much as it's nice being back and coming back to the home I grew up in, it's uh, it's not. It's not the best place for me to uh, carry on with living, I think, at this point in time. So yeah, get my ass out, go and do that. I'm hyped, I can't wait. Routine, work. It's gonna be strange because I've spent a long time just doing whatever I wanna do whenever I wanna do it. And now I'm gonna have a routine and uh, you know, a boss that relies on me to show up and do the job. So I better do that and we'll see. Damn, is that everything? I think it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is everything. I'm really excited about the new song that's this week. Um, yeah, that's the last thing. I hope you really enjoy it. It's my favorite. I am so proud of it. Um, it was really hard to do. It, it wasn't hard to write, actually. It was kind of easy to write. The lyrics just flowed. The bit, I, the bit that was hard for me is I had to make the video. Make the video. And uh, it's not a normal video. It's it's basically a, the same as the other videos. The only differences are I've put subtitles on it and I've put a picture at the end that's relevant to the song. Um, because the song's in, in Chinese and English. So, you know, I, 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 I want to say I got no help. I did get some help. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I wrote the song. I wrote most of the song anyway and I checked in with a friend of mine about one of the lines I wanted to say in Chinese and she she helped me edit it a little bit to make it a bit smoother um, and you know so I made I made the video I put Chinese subtitles when I'm singing or rapping in English and then I put English subtitles when I'm singing or rapping in Chinese um, I made the video and I thought it'd be nice if I had a picture in there and the song is the song was inspired by something that happened at a certain location I won't tell you too much but I, I reached out to a friend of mine who still lives in that area um, and I asked him to if he could take a picture and send it to me, which he did. So I've got a picture that I attached on the end, um, on the end of the video. And I did all the subtitles and then I sent the video to another friend of mine in China just because I was nervous about potentially having some big mistakes in the writing, um, <clears throat> especially in the translation. And she found two parts on um, on my Chinese translation of when I'm when I'm rapping in English and then I typed out the lyrics in Chinese or at least the meaning of the lyrics in Chinese and she found a couple of errors in there so I edited those up and um, it's ready to go it's been ready to go for over a week for over two weeks and I'm really excited to drop it uh, I can't wait and I hope you like it and I'm gone 24 weeks deep take care be good big love